as does he be right as well as uh, Photoshop I do like playing around with Excel so I've got a couple of finished projects here and what I'm looking to uh, do is do some instructional videos see show you how I made these so you can copy it yourselves and I'll probably even let you have the actual files as well uh, so this is a Gantt chart uh, if you don't know what a Gantt chart is it's basically a planning tool or helper so basically what you do you set it up say you're doing a project for instance now there could be depending on the size of the project 10 things to do on that project to 100 things to a thousand things it could go on and go on and go on so it can be quite hard to keep track of what needs doing when how long you've got left when it should have been done blah 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 and that's what this chart does but regardless of whether or not you need one the formulas and everything like that I've used to create it yeah, it'll be good learning for you you can use it in lots of other processes and I'm sure you can think of lots of things you can come up with so you put the start date in the end date it gives you the how many work days are there how many days left left the task is done when you do it you, you tell it whether or not you did it on time or out of time and there's just another tab there take you to current year and the next one is this flexi cheat time sheet whatever you want to call it now I've been using this actually at the work where I work or well, they've been using it and it is a lot lot better than the one they used to have so it's been tried and tested this and it uh, works perfectly so you see what's happening there on the screen you put your start time your end time and there's I mean it's three options there in out in out in out so it calculates how many hours you work that day and how many you've worked that week that month whether or not you've met the contracted hours, blah 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 blah. So we just paste all these in. It's currently set at 148 hours for a working month. So I'll change that to a different figure. So now you see all oh, them ones are turned red. Because I've gone from 148 to 160 and I've not done enough hours. So now it's gone blue because I have done enough hours in that week. Now, drop down menus. So that all these dates are automatically inserted. Now that you see at the very top it says period ending the 28th of January 2011. Uh, I mean that's in UK format but it's dead easy to change it to US format. So as soon as you put that in there, I don't know if you can see it also along the bottom, there are 13 tabs, so there's 13 periods of 4 weeks which of course equates to a full working year. So you don't need to have lots of different sheets. Um, I mean I'm not going to go into mad, mad details of what I can do but I think this is pretty good and it's not that hard really I want to show you how it's done you could probably recreate this yourself again I will let you have the finished file on the videos I'm uploading so have a look at what's going on screen but just a quick listen so basically send me a private message saying yeah I'd love to uh, learn how to use Excel a bit more and what I'll do is uh, if enough of you come and say that to me, then great, I'll get the videos done. Now it'll probably take three or four videos to go through even set up extra sheet. So it's not gonna be a quick process, so I may wait until there's a lot more subs, but just gives you an idea what's going up. Thanks from me. Cheers and bye.